Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy and today we will build a little app together uh, that allows us to share uh, content images on social media. So we will build an app that can share on Twitter, on Facebook, WhatsApp, email, um, and there are more providers that you could use inside your app, but we will just fix uh, and look at a few of them. And also we will see how to use lo local assets. Um, it's not that easy. You can't just simply use the URL. We have to resolve it, but we will see it in action in a second. It's quite easy. So let's get started. I've created a blank new Ionic app. Uh, using Ionic 4, so therefore I had to append type type angular or dash dash angular. And now we can go ahead and add the Cordova plugin, first of all for social sharing. So this is the plugin that basically opens the Twitter, the Facebook or whatever dialog you need for social sharing. And if you only want to share a text message or URL, that's of course already enough. But I want to go a step uh, further. So I wanted to share images and as the local assets and the path to the assets were not working out of the box, we need to add the Cordova plugin file as well. So with this file, we can use local uh, path inside our app. Uh, copy that file to another directory and then use uh, the path. But actually we might already uh, use the path. Um, well, we will see it later. And once this is done, you can also install the Ionic native packages that we need. So um, Ionic native social sharing and I add at beta. Uh, because I'm also using Ionic 4 beta version uh, at the time of creating this tutorial. So um, my package JSON uh, looks like, uh, where is Ionic native? There we go. Um, looks like this. So you should also have version 5. And once you get this installed, you can continue uh, with your app module in which we need to import our uh, plugins. So add ionic native slash file and slash ngx. So that's the import with ionic 5 at the time of writing this or recording this. So I hope this will still be um, correct in a few months but let's hope for the best. So file and social sharing both go to the arrays of our providers. And then um, you can also go to your efforts, create a new folder and copy whatever image you got to that folder. So let me bring in one image. All right, so I will just use this image for our testing. Now let's continue with the home page and the home TS. So the home page is actually super boring in this example. Uh, let's call this Ionic Social Share and then replace the content with a bunch of buttons. So we can share on Twitter, email, Facebook, WhatsApp for testing out the social sharing plugin. So make sure you got all the functions in your class, Facebook, and then WhatsApp as well. All right, also we need a constructor, of course, uh, which now has social sharing, social sharing, import looks good. And I think, um, yeah, of course we need the private file as well. And with file, always be careful with the automatic um, recommendations here because the first one is um, certainly almost the wrong uh, choice. So pick the one from file ngx, of course. Okay, so now basically um, our social sharing works like this. Um, you could ask if you can share something uh, with a specific app name. Okay, of course that closes the window. Um, or you can directly try to share it. You can share it uh, simply calling share via um, where you would have to pass in the app name 
or there are separate functions for all the other things we could use. So let's start with uh, share via Twitter and then we see the properties, message, image, URL, which are mostly the same for the most social providers. But I found that uh, using message and URL is not really working anymore for Twitter or Facebook. So pick what you want, either pick URL or text um, and let's just bring in two more variables so we can try both of them. So uh, if we want to share a message, we could use our text and no further uh, things. So then we would get back some result and we can also catch the error. It's not an observable, of course. And then you got the error, but you don't really need this. This is enough to call the plugin. So, and now we can continue the same for all the other things, but of course this is a bit boring. So um, let's say by WhatsApp, um, we want to use uh, the text, no image and the URL. I'm not sure if it will work. Um, just try out the different combinations. Uh, for email, it's share email. And of course, this is share Facebook. Okay. Now, I also said that we want to um, load a local file which is stored under assets. Um, and I created the code previously and record it now. So I came to think if we actually need to copy the file to a different direction, uh, directory. I'll show you how to, uh, I initially thought to do it, but maybe, just maybe, um, we can do it on another way. Okay, so you can write an async function and this will simply return this start file, copy file, and then you need to have the path to your application folder, which is and now here we go uh, this start file application directory uh, slash assets slash images so this would be the correctly uh, formatted path to our images and of course for the function uh, we then also had academy.jpg then we had the new path um, let's say this file um, temp or cache directory and then the new file name uh, this could also be something like um, or it should definitely be uh, some unique string because if the new file already exists um, it won't be copied so I always get this uh, kind of whatever so for the new name, let's say we just create a new date, get time uh, dot, dot JPEG. So now the new file would be copied from our assets folder to the cache directory. Um, and while writing this, I thought perhaps this path to an image might already work. Um, I'm not sure about this. So, um, Let's do a little example with Twitter and we use uh, for the image exactly this path. So Academy JPEG and we will see if the Twitter works with this JPEG. I actually don't think it works, but it's worth a try. And of course, if you um, copy over the file to a temp directory to share it, uh, you should also take care of removing the temp file. So that's not really a hard. This dot file, remove file, and um, this should be in this dot file, cache directory, file name is name, and then simply call this function once you're done with the sharing. So for the email dialog, um, we get some complaints here. So let's check. Uh, we need a message. This is my message. Uh, we need a subject, my subject. 
uh, we might have a two uh, or CC. Yeah. So you see, if there's a question mark, you don't have to specify this. And if we want to get two files, we have to pass uh, null and null for those two values. But let's say we want to send it to my email, Simon at devdectic. Okay. So uh, one more, and now we're at the files. And if we want to uh, send the image of our local assets directory now, what we can do is say let file this dot uh, resolve local file. And now we're working with async and await. So this means uh, we have to mark the function as well as async. And now we can lock out the file right here. So normally if you use something um, that returns a promise like this copy, uh, you would have to use then and return and uh, wait for the result. But if you use it like this with async and await, uh, this step actually waits until this is completed, which means right here, one line after it, the file is already there. So pretty amazing. Um, um, okay, this should be this. And now we need the file parameter, which is now the file from here dot native URL, which is the real uh, URL to the actual file. And then the share by email should also work fine. So by email, uh, by Facebook, we could also uh, use the image or use the URL, whatever you like. Let's just do it in here as well. We're freaky. Native URL, um, yeah. And you could use the URL as well in here. Um, but I think for Facebook also only text message or URL or perhaps even just URL or image. Okay, anyway, we got some nice examples. We got the Twitter share in place where we give this expression a try. Um, we got share by email in place. We got share by Facebook in place and WhatsApp. And for f email and Facebook, we've also created our remove temp file, uh, which is file.name. So just do it in the completion block or in the catch block or final, wherever you like. So make sure to clear after your functions. All right, so that are the functions. And now, of course, we need to run the app on a device. So let me rebuild the app and bring up my simulator. All right, so here's the app on my device. And let's start with share by email. We see the two is filled out, the subject, the message, and so the image is also included. Uh, let's check out Facebook. Um, for Facebook, we used, what did we use for Facebook? Uh, okay, we specified the image and the URL, but as you can see, only the URL is shown in that case. So, um, make sure that you just use one of them. WhatsApp is working as well. I don't want to open my WhatsApp contact right now, so I will skip this. And share for Twitter is actually working with the image. So this means, let me bring this out, um, that the logic to get the local asset file from your folder works as well perfectly, at least on iOS. So I think for Android, uh, I read that you need to have the file somewhere else, but actually copying from this location um, to the cache directory, I don't know if it makes a big difference at all, but perhaps it works better for Android. Um, leave a note below this video if this also works for Android. So I will add this as well as a note. But anyway, you can see that we're now able to share the images, oops, uh, using a great new tool. So you see, it's definitely possible to share images, URLs and whatever uh, using Ionic to different social media providers. And that's all for today. Um, 
it's basically a simple tool, the social sharing plugin, and if you work with local files, also the file plugin to resolve the local path or perhaps for Android to copy it to a cache directory. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel below this video and also check out the ionicacademy.com, which is your learning place for everything Ionic. So I'd love to see you inside. And of course, I'll see you inside the next video. So have a great day and take care.